Goodbye. It was nice knowing you. Thank you. Bye. So when I say pit beast, I'm being so serious. <laughs> Oh, ooh. oh, they're woohooing in there. Okay, so sometimes the pit beast kills you. Other times, it appears that he has romanced the pit beast. Uh, I think he might survive. <laughs> in 2011, The Sims released a spin-off game called The Sims Medieval. Gameplay-wise, it doesn't really have that much in common with the classic Sims games. There's barely a build mode, the cast is very limited, and most of the gameplay is very quest-based. It's not really a sandboxy life sim in the same way that the other Sims games are. But if you have not seen this game yet, it is the most chaotic, unbelievable thing ever. You play as what they call hero sims and then do these quests. You can literally sword fight duel to the death in this game. If you're playing as the monarch, you can send your enemies to be executed and eaten by the pit beast. Also, there is a cat behind me. Not a not a beast. <laughs> just a little tiny kitten. If you see any movement behind me, just, just ignore it. And actually, weirdly, speaking of cats, I loaded into my game and I found that I have a save from 2022 with a kingdom called Shrek. Shrimp. That is one of my cat's names. This year I named a kitten shrimp. I, I didn't remember this obviously, but it kind of like shocked me when I saw the name of the save. But I think today I'm probably gonna start a new save. We shall rule Simsyville. <laughs> the reason I'm making this video is because I wanted to play a little bit with Sims Medieval in honor of the new castle kit coming out for The Sims 4. I've actually played Sims Medieval a couple times here on YouTube and I've played it a lot over on my Twitch channel. So if you want to watch the playlist of all of our previous Sims Medieval streams, I can link that down below for you. I post all of my Twitch streams onto my second channel called More Simsy. I think I should probably start by giving us a monarch and I'll make one in cast or we could create one. I just want to remind you again that this game came out in 2011. It's running on the same engine as The Sims 3. If you've seen The Sims 3, you're probably like, oh, this is like, <laughs> this is The Sims 3. You don't need to have The Sims 3 to play this game. Like they're completely separate games. You buy them completely separately, but it, it's basically The Sims 3. And it does does suffer from a lot of the same problems that The Sims 3 does. They don't really have that many skin tone variants, for example. There's just 10 swatches. Weirdly, it has an age slider instead of like selecting ages because you don't play with like kids and stuff in this game. You can have kids, but they, they're kind of just like stuck as a kid. I think I might make myself for this today. And I don't really know what hairstyle I want to use. I actually kind of liked the one that it had originally, if I'm being honest. I thought that was kind of pretty. I don't really care what the face looks like. I honestly, I just leave it. Like I, I don't really care to sit here and like pick different eyes. I don't, it doesn't really bother me. You can barely see them anyway. There's not really a, a wide variety of makeup. Most of the eyeliner came in a Pirates DLC. <laughs> there is some kind of interesting clothing in this game though. There's some pretty dresses and stuff. None of them are the most like beautiful uh, texture wise. <laughs> That's partially because of my settings that I have on, but you know. Whoa, Sunny, she just popped up above my monitor. I don't know if you can see, but she's like standing up on the monitor. Okay, anyway, sorry about that due to everybody. <laughs> I don't really know what I want us to wear. I wanted to match my pretty little flower in my hair. Some of the outfits clip with it as well, which is not so ideal. And I guess I can change the color. You can make it kind of whatever you want. So maybe I'll do that. You only have one outfit. Um, you don't really have to, to pick additional ones or anything. <laughs> and then you have to pick two traits and one fatal flaw. The traits range from things like creative cook, dedicated, evil. <laughs> Some of them are like a little, um, I don't know. This one is hopeful orphan, where they're on a quest to find their long lost parents. This one, whale ate my parents. <laughs> Carnivorous sim eating whales were a constant threat back in medieval times. Indeed, legend has it that the ocean was formed from the tears of orphan children whose parents were devoured by these underwater menaces. I think I might pick that one. I think I might also be greedy. I don't know, I wanna be like a bad queen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to pick some not good traits. And then for fatal flaws, there's things like bloodthirsty, cruel, cursed. I warn you that like some of the wording and the writing in this game is maybe a little offensive, like not terribly bad, but definitely a product of its time. It came out in 2011. I like to give myself the puny fatal flaw when I play this game because puny sims are physically weak and feeble. They rarely can hold their own in a fight and strenuous activity quickly leaves them tired and sore. And I just, I relate to that. Can you imagine me? Me trying to sword fight like there's just there's no way <laughs> it's just not gonna happen so I think I'll pick those and I'll say we're done
done. I'm really sorry if the camera is shaking. My cat is being a little bit chaotic right now. Okay, Lady Kayla, Monarch, level one. I shall furnish it. So this is the throne room in the castle. You can't build like on the exterior of the castle in this game. You can change the furnishings in these rooms, but that's kind of it. I'm a little bit worried about spending too much money right now. And I also don't remember how to get out of here. <laughs> Okay, then you have to go through and decide which buildings to place. So you can do things like place the wizard's tower. There's a couple religious buildings that you can place. Uh, I just went in and placed this monastery first. And now we've unlocked quests. So we can pick our first one. You wanna do like higher point level quests. I think I might try this power grab one. <laughs> Every now and then a queen needed to solidify her power lest it be wrested from her grip. Public approval worked on a what have you done for us lately principle. It was time for Lady Kayla to prove her divine right to rule by establishing herself once and for all as the true leader of the land. <laughs> and we can choose to gain domestic support or foreign support. I'm more interested in making them like me around here, I think. Winning the hearts and minds of the people was the best way to secure one's position as a ruler of the kingdom. And for such a charming leader, it would not be much of a challenge. I don't know. I'm kind of mean. <laughs> We'll see. Lady Kayla was excited to get out of the castle and meet the people. She really got a chance to do either. Building up people's confidence was not always easy, especially when times have been tough, but the queen was ready for the challenge. Okay. It wants me to hold court, so I shall do that first, I guess. We only have two needs. There's a hunger and an energy need, and you get these like daily responsibilities that you have to do. We don't have any right now. And you can page up and go upstairs where we have like a bedroom, a place to eat, a place to bathe. Okay. How should Lady Kayla delve into politics? <laughs> <laughs> we could propose a new legislation or we could try and study leadership books at the market. Mm, I might just go to the market for fun. We can read Peace, Love, and Happiness and Rise and Fall of the Tyrants. <laughs> okay, let me go to the market. We'll see if we can uh, find our way. I don't remember where the market is, so just bear with me, okay? Oh, maybe I'll take you to the judgment zone first so you can meet the pit bees. <laughs> I request permission to run special experiments in my cellar. I will need funds for blades and harnesses, and I need soundproofing for the walls strong enough to muffle, say, loud screaming? Right. Mm, you can talk to the constable about that one. Oh, my popularity has increased. Okay, I forgot I have to talk to these people still. I was uh, kind of deciding to just ditch them and go find my books. <laughs> I am actively holding court. All right, well, off I go. My little tiny kitten is being very chaotic. I know you mean well, Sunny, but like, do you have to knock things over this much? Really? You could try to not do that, you know? That's always an idea as well. Okay, well, off we go. <laughs> This is the pit beast that I was talking about. We could jump into the pit. That would probably result in a quick end to this video. Um, this is peasant Tammy. This sim is too important to the quest. Oh, well, maybe I'll threaten you for money instead. Lady Kayla stole $50 from peasant Golda. What is wrong with you? Oh my God. <laughs> oh, my daily tasks are to write two new laws and sick a parrot on the guild emissary. <laughs> Well, let me go to the village shop because we're gonna try and get these books. I just wanted to show you this first. And the thing is, you don't have to play as the monarch. You could play as like the wizard. You can play as people in town. Like there's so many other ways to play this game. I don't know what books to buy. Rise and Fall of the Tyrants. Peace, Love and Happiness, not going to happen. I don't know, I'll buy a couple. I forget which ones it wanted. Oh. As Lady Kayla approached the center of town, she noticed a large crowd assembling. To Lady Kayla's surprise, she found that the group of citizens was standing by idly watching as several townsfolk pelted an elf girl with rock hard potatoes. What? Get out of here, shouted the mob. We don't want your kind here. Kayla's eyes met those of the tormented girl for a brief moment. Oh no. Oh, oh, deep in my heart, I want to stop the mob, but I also want to be an evil queen. <laughs> Really very conflicted right now. If I stop them, will they get mad at me? Oh, I pressed it. Well, that's something. People of Simsyville, fair skin and pointed ears do not a beast make. <laughs> the crowd silently dispersed, not with love for the girl, but with uncertainty in their hearts. Oh, and she's a princess. Oh my God, we are so smart. Me doing that got me a map to their unknown island. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a good idea. See, be nice to people. It ends up being good for you. Oh, I can watch a sword fight. Oh my God, go do that. I think this is the guy I'm supposed to attack with a parrot, but... Oh, oh, whoa. Are you good? You don't seem good. You're evilly laughing. Did that... Is that person dead? I'm being serious. Is that person dead? Should I duel you? This is a big mistake. I really shouldn't do this. I think that person is dead. Ah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I think that was also the person I was supposed to talk to. Clemencia the bandit killed the person I was supposed to talk to. Okay. Oh, I killed you though. Oh, how? I've never dueled with a person in my life and I'm puny and weak. Oh, you're not dead, you're back. Okay, good. And kneeling to the queen as you should. Oh my God, <laughs> Sunny's behind me now. <laughs> I didn't even see her get up there. 
You may not be able to tell because it's it, she's an all black cat. It looks like a little shadow in the background, but there is a creature back there. Okay, well I need to read the peace, love, and happiness not going to happen book. So I guess I'll start that. Oh, I read fast. This book suggests you can attract more fairies with magic dust than poison pollen. People wish to follow a kind, benevolent ruler. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I learned that a moment ago, um, but unfortunately, did I actually not buy the book that I was supposed to buy? How did I miss that one? I needed Rise and Fall of the Tyrants and I didn't, oh my god. I'm gonna have to go back. I'm supposed to write two new laws today, so I guess I'll do that as well. I don't know how to get a, a parrot. I don't know how to use a parrot to humiliate anybody, if I'm being honest. I'm not really sure about that one. Okay, I'll just stand here and read it, because it should only take a second. There are pretty powerful military rulers in the past. Some were genius, some were ruthless, all were effective. Well, that's that is until they were dethroned, beheaded. <laughs> But that won't happen to me, apparently. We now wish to gather our thoughts, but I think I'll probably go home. I'm gonna try and get someone to cook for me. I guess I can make food myself. We could try and force someone to make it, but I have stuff so I can make gruel. It only takes a second. And then I shall gather my thoughts. The best way to connect with the populace is to firmly clasp each outstretched peasant hand and bless it with my royal kiss. Or I could give a speech. Why should I figure out what they want when I can convince them to want what I want? <laughs> okay, I guess I'll come talk to these people people then. Oh, it's getting kind of late. Oh, don't, don't, don't. I take it back. I take it back. Ooh, yikes. There's a couple in here that we can talk to. I'll solicit some honest feedback. Each blemish gives your face a wonderful glow. What? <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna go to bed then. Oh, perfect. I gotta talk to this person. Wake up. Cornelius the servant. Can I get you to cook for me? Call for food. Thank you. And then I'll solicit some honest feedback. See, now we got rabbit stew. We don't have to be eating that gruel stuff. I'll just make this guy cook for me. He thinks that I am the most noble, brave, perfect person you have ever had the pleasure of beholding? Me? Really? Thank you. I agree. <laughs> we gotta talk to the town crier next, but I'm not really seeing anybody in here, so. I'm actually kind of interested in killing someone. I just don't really know who yet. I'm working on my quest. I need to pass an edict and read the war crimes docket. Oh my god. That's the pit beast. Poet Richard. Can I put you in there? Send to pit! Okay. The constable is too busy to arrest Poet Richard, but he's been added to the list. Excuse me? What could the po- what, what could the constable possibly be busy doing? <sighs> Whatever. Edric the Executioner? Oh dear. Did the- did he just escape from the- Oh, here's the poet! Oh, here we go! The constable's getting him. Here, watch, 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 watch! This is big, this is big. Here we go. We're going into the pit. Goodbye! It was nice knowing you. Thank you. Bye! So when I say pit beast, I'm being so serious. <laughs> Oh, 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 they're woohooing in there. Okay, so sometimes the pit beast kills you. Other times, it appears that he has romanced the pit beast. Uh, I think he might survive. <laughs> That's disgusting, actually. Like, thoroughly horrifying. The noises they play, look, he just climbed right back out. I'm gonna kill this guy. You mark my words. I got stuff to do today, but as soon as I'm done, he will pay. Okay, I have to write a speech, so move. Okay, speech is written. Now I wanna practice the speech in a mirror. I also, I need to read the war crimes docket and pass an edict. Do you think I need to worry about my daily response? Responsibilities, or does that not matter too much? I, I don't really know. I, I probably should be doing more of my daily tasks, but eh, I got bigger things to do, you know? Okay, I gotta talk to my people and have them go spread the word. They will inform all of the visitors of our impending speech. Okay, give speech at town square. Here we go. The people in town were easily swayed to fall under the thumb of the monarchy. They simply couldn't resist the charm and social integrity on display. <laughs> the speech was a resounding success. The townsfolk listened in sublime awe. They were eating right out of the monarch's hands now and would follow the castle's laws without question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got money. I got points. We're level two being a monarch. Thank you very much. And then now we would pick like the next quest. So I could do one that belongs to like a different person, but I kind of want to keep playing as me. <laughs> the monarch was becoming increasingly obsessed with the stars. Tales were told of the stars deciding the fate of kings and many believe that they could even grant immortality. Could there be a place for Simsyville's ruler amongst the stars? Yeah. <laughs> I'll do it. Oh no, I play as the priest. Never mind. Never mind. Boring. I could do this royal review. I can keep order in the kingdom or something. Sure. Whatever. I don't really care about the quest this time. Mostly, I'll inspect the royal keep or something. I don't know. Can I just kill people? Guildsman Erica. Send to pit. Let me go to the pit myself, I guess. Oh, I'm lost. Before we lose our place. We gotta be here waiting. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm sorry. I, you are probably a nice person. I don't know. Um, this is unfortunate for you, but it must be done. It's for science. I'm, I'm trying to teach the people about the medieval game. <laughs> Oh, in she goes. Surely they won't both survive, right? Oh, we're fighting down here. Okay. Do you think she's good at that? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I just saw a tentacle really quickly. That was really scary. Sometimes they like almost climb out and then get pulled back in. Oh, look, 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 look. Oh, a 
that's a shame. That is a real shame. Yeah. May you rest in peace. What? <gasps> I'm fighting someone? Who? The executioner? Why? I didn't do that. I didn't click on that. No, 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 no. What? And she lived? Oh my god. I'm horrified. Why is the executioner trying to kill me? I can't even kill you. You mark my words, Edric. If I could, I'd put you in that pit so fast. Peasant Bertram. Well, to the pit. I'm gonna keep doing it until someone dies. Here we go. Take three. <laughs> this is gonna be our time. Just you wait. What? You're kidding. I'm sick and tired of this. Is there anybody that I can duel to the death? I don't know. Maybe I should just go home. <laughs> I'm not really doing a very good job at being a monarch, am I? <laughs> it wants me to warm my hands by the fire. Oh, that's nice. And to create an outfit from the dresser. Is that necessary? Fine. I'll get another one. I don't mind. It might be nice if we had something like really fancy like this. Or like this one. Ooh. Try that. Are you cooking for yourself? Oh, I could practice domestic skills by home brewing. Oh, try that. I'll brew something. <laughs> I'll brew myself some wine. Why not? It wants me to take a bath as well. I guess that's good. I haven't really done that, so <laughs> we may as well. I'm probably staying up too late. I need to dictate my royal biography to one of these people, to my royal advisor or something, but I haven't really done that yet. Also, if you were curious, you can be gay in this game, don't worry. <laughs> you can you can romance pretty much anybody. The, the romance isn't that interesting, uh, I warn you. <laughs> the social relationships aren't very fun, but they are possible. One of my daily tasks is to hunt and kill a great bear. You want me to kill a bear? I'm horrified, absolutely horrified. You must be joking. It wants me to brew sweet wine. You want me to get grapes and honey? You're kidding. I guess I could go try and buy some, but maybe I could just ignore the quest. Maybe I'll just go kill a bear or something. <laughs> I may as well spend time doing that, right? In the woods, I can hunt for a great bear. Oh, maybe I could try and kill the guard after this. We could duel to the death. That's probably a bad idea. <laughs> I probably should not be doing that, but I, I may do it anyway. Oh, I did it. It was that easy. We even got meat. Okay, well, challenge to duel to the death. This person's probably a lot better at this than I am, so <laughs> this may be the end for us, but we'll see. Uh-oh, my health is in fact going down very quickly. I'm beginning to get a little bit alarmed. Uh-oh, am I dead? Am I dead? No, I'm fine. Oh, I am dead. Oh, no. Oh, that was very foolish. <laughs> Okay, well, and that was the end of Kayla. <laughs> Lady Kayla has died. Try to be more careful next time. <laughs> Quest fail. Yeah, you think so? Well, I might be dead, but I can place the wizard's tower. <laughs> we can play as Alvara Crawford as the wizard. Let me see if there's any wizard quests for me. Oh, I gotta get a monarch first. <laughs> we have to replace it. Lynn Crispin. Crispin could be the monarch. He's friendly and adventurous and filled with hubris, but that's fine. It happens. Oh, I don't think any of these quests are for the wizard. We can find a missing child. Well, here I am. I have different sorts of daily tasks. <laughs> I need to prepare spells and like gather plants. There's a lot of plants out here that we can probably start discovering. But you can actually play, like I was saying, as a lot of the different people in town and you could like have them all get married slowly and like you can you can play and level up multiple people at once. It's actually really fun. This game is still sold for full price, which is questionable at best, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> We're actually collecting a lot of this stuff right now. It wants me to scry at the arcane tome. I also need to prepare two spells as my daily task. I guess I can do that now. Prepare spell. I don't remember how this works. <laughs> Oh, I failed the spell preparation. <laughs> well, <laughs> don't mind me, that's fine. I did the scry thing. Now it wants me to scry more, okay. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. The ether has revealed to me that a child has gone missing in the city. So we're gonna try and find out information this way. I gotta be honest, I don't really care about the storyline of this today. I'm mostly just playing for chaos. <laughs> I mostly just wanted to show you how it works and, and explore around and be chaotic. So now that my sim is dead, I'm not all that interested in continuing. Foolish townspeople, the boy has been hiding right under their noses in the town's school. Square. Magic arrow is energy, air, and light. Energy, air, light. Craft it. Look, I memorized a new spell. Isn't that fun? We can also craft items. I don't have all of the supplies. Obviously we haven't done too much collecting, but you can like craft potions. And this is just one of the different professions you can be. There's all kinds of stuff. If you guys are interested in this, let me know if we should do another stream playing it. Cause I'm totally down to like do some more streams and start a new save again. The castle pack has like reinvigorated my desire to play with this. I'm actually kind of interested in maybe trying to build this castle in the Sims 4 and like trying to re create it. It is weird because there's not even stairs. Like you can't actually access the, the back hallways or anything. It's like kind of stuck, but it's a cool looking building. So I would be down to try. Is it just done now? Is the quest like, maybe I'll just go home. Yeah, the quest is done. <laughs> 
was way too easy. Okay, well, as the renown of Simsyville grew, its political standing amongst the various foreign territories also rose. But before long, Simsyville found itself in dire need of grand accommodations to house the ever-increasing flow of visiting foreign dignitaries. So with a flurry of activity and peasant groaning, the grand reception hall was finally unveiled. Oh, let me show you that. I'll do this crab bandit quest so we can go look at the new reception hall. Look, we can enter it from over here. It's like to the right of the castle. The buildings are kind of annoying, but look, we have this now. That's cool. We have like a whole new kitchen and everything. I don't want to play as this guy. He has the same inventory that I used to have. <gasps> oh, I'm actually deeply offended by that. You just replaced me just like that? <laughs> you get all my things, even my books and my scrolls? Now that I'm dead, I can't play. I can't be this guy. I just can't be this guy. Uh, maybe I'll try and kill him too. <laughs> Is that bad? Probably. Is that the wizard? Ooh, that's me. Can I duel any of you people? Challenge to duel to the death. This is the Smith Master. That seems like a bad idea. I'm doing it though. Oh. <laughs> Okay, this one's dead too. Uh, note to self, practice more before you just run around killing your monarchs. I knew he was gonna die. It was mostly just for fun, but it was worth it. It was well worth it. I won't be more careful next time. <laughs> yeah, this save is ruined. This save is totally ruined. But if you wanted to play again, let me know, because I'd be totally down to make another video. I was just in the mood to be a bit chaotic and celebrate the release of the new castle pack, so that was my main goal here. I will link the previous main channel Sims Medieval videos that I've done down below in case you want to go back and watch those. And like I mentioned, I'll link my second channel where I have like a whole playlist of hours long gameplay of this because it's really fun. I think you might like it. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day and be careful not to duel anyone to the death. Okay? Okay. Bye, everybody. <laughs> There's actually a reference to the Pit Beast in The Sims 4. In Snowy Escape, there's a Pit Beast Simi capsule that you can find as part of the vending machine collections. 